Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Arrow. We have finally hit one of the... <laughs> I'll get into it in just a second. So we start off this episode with another ghost chase scene. What happens during this chase? Uh, not a whole lot. We get a little bit of DNA off of one of the... Uh, uh, <laughs> one of the ghosts. And of course, they still get away. However, we did find something interesting when uh, Diggle handed over the file to Oliver, and now Oliver has this big, you know, he's got this banquet for the police going. It looks like Captain Lance is really starting to form a better friendship with Oliver. He's uh, putting more trust in him. He feels more comfortable around him. And what's more, what we all called with, you know, the whole, uh, now that Captain Lance is working as the double agent, Dark is now suspicious. It's dangerously close times <laughs> oh man really really dangerously close there's lots of stuff to be talked about we got all the stuff with ray palmer okay uh he's not back from the dead technically he doesn't want anyone to know that he's back and he just keeps it going throughout the entire episode felicity wants him to come back to the company but he just keeps saying no 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 and no it's just a broken record with him uh, with him and Felicity right now, it's just, come back, no, come back, no, come back, no, please come back, hell no. <laughs> uh, then we got the stuff with Thea's bloodless, it's back again, she almost stabs someone while on one of their runs, and of course, comes the big part of the episode that had everyone just waiting for this moment, the anticipation was very big. Andy, he returned, and John Diggle saw his face. It was absolute insanity. I think the the look that I saw on Diggle's face, the, the way he reacted to it, it seemed very genuine, very what in the world is going on. It was a real genuine freak-out type deal, and I think that was a, a really just really good way to go about it. And, of course, he's not hiding it from everyone. He's actually telling them straight up, everyone's on the same picture. There's no hiding this, hiding that. So, with the more stuff going on, we get into the whole, you know, we got to save Andy. We got to figure out what's wrong with him. Diggle, for the entire episode, is all like, he doesn't deserve a second chance after everything that he's done. Oliver is trying to convince him, yes, he does. He does deserve a second chance. And just... It's a back and forth, but you do see where it's all going down. And, of course, during Oliver's police banquet, when Damien Dark shows up, every last one of us were just kind of laughing at the stupidity of Dark at that moment. Or at least I am. He's got Arrow standing right in front of him, and I'm in the chair going, <laughs> Oh, you're such an idiot. He's right in front of you, and you don't know it. <laughs> Oh, man. I, I was just laughing and chuckling in my seat the entire time. It was just hilarious. And, of course, what else do we got going on? <laughs> well, it comes down to the last two battles. Okay, so with one of them being, you know, we kind of figure out how Dark is controlling his people. He's got these little yellow pills that makes them more obedient to the point where... Well, they'll obey any order that there is. And during the last battle, we get them break into the basic operations base of many, many ghosts just to get Andy out. What happens? Thea is the one that runs into him. And after taking down Andy, who runs into her? Damien Dark. Oh my god. The interesting thing was, when he tried to use his powers on her, didn't work. At first, I thought it was just, you know, hey, maybe he just doesn't have an effect on her because she's been in the Lazarus Pit. Magic from the Lazarus Pit could be, you know, clashing with Damien's magic, making it completely inoperable, and there's no way that he's going to be able to even touch her. That is an interesting thing to do. I, I'm really glad they threw that in there. It was, it was really, really interesting and really, really good. And now we got Malcolm. He's back in the picture. And now <laughs> Thea wants to work with him so that he can have uh, 
Damien Dark's powers cure her of her bloodlust. And if this works for Thea, it could in turn work for Sarah. Something I want to throw out there right now. During the first episode with that whole six months later, there's a grave. I said, don't let it be Felicity. I'm starting to think it might be Thea because if Thea's getting too close to Damien Dark, because we have to remember, he was trained to be a Ra's al Ghul. He was one of the two who was trained. He just didn't make the mark. So that's something really important right there. And, of course, we got the stuff on the island. The stuff on the island, they're downplaying it quite a bit. They're not throwing it in there too much, but they're putting it in just enough to where it stays interesting. All this magic stuff that they got going on, they're just really just throwing it out there. It's just going really well, and I can't wait to see more of this season. So, I guess that's it for today's episode, you guys. Let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section be uh, below. As for the rating for this episode, I say that this is the best episode we've had. I give it a 9.8 out of 10 because we got some hardcore action. I mean, most of this was done in the whole, you know, one-shot deal, and it was absolutely incredible it felt like a real action packed you know you're right there you're watching them and you're with them you're watching the whole fight it just looked incredible especially with the fights between uh john and arrow at the docks and of course thea versus andy all these fights were absolutely incredible and i cannot wait until two weeks from now when we finally get the Arrow and Flash team up. Now, last seasons, we got them fighting each other in the Flash episode and then sort of teaming up in uh, the Arrow one. You know, they kind of had to work past a rocky relationship. Now, they're familiar with each other and it is about to go down. We're getting into the Vandal Savage stuff. So, unfortunately, no more Arrow or Flash until two weeks from now. Small break. But that's what happens. And, of course, join me later this Saturday for my Ruby Season 3, Episode 4 review. I'm hoping it comes out on time because last, because the weekend before last, they didn't show the episode. I don't know why. I've been Kedricks as always, people. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, follow me on Facebook. That's in the description below. Share this with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate it. Keeps this channel going. I've been Kedricks as always, people. Have an awesome day. Peace out, and I'll catch you later. Peace.